Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Altrady. In this video I will show you the new features that we've released in 4114. So let's start with a normal limit order. So let's say I want to buy here when the price reaches its previous support level um, and then I want to have a take profit. So I want to have my take profit back onto the previous resistance. So I expect it to go down here and then go back to the resistance and then maybe go back down again. So I want to take my profit here. And then when I place the order, this will be placed. But how do I make sure that I don't lock up my funds and still make sure that the price goes down in order to reach my limit order? So what you can do now in version 4114 is that if you add a start position at trigger, so it, this way you can actually make it conditional. So what will happen is that if the price goes down, then your limit order will be placed. And until then, your limit order will not be placed on the exchange and your funds are not locked in. So this allows you to set up multiple positions without reserving all of your funds. And you can actually overextend your current portfolio. So this is a great way to set up multiple positions and just wait for the first one to trigger. So that's good for setting up multiple positions. But what if you want to cancel a position once your uh, initial profit level has been reached and you don't want to actually enter the trade anymore? So for example, if the price breaks out here, I don't want to take this trade because it's not moving in the direction that I expected it to. So what you can do is then use the price-based expiration. So if we move or take profit a little bit higher, if the price breaks out, then actually this will not happen and I want to release my funds immediately. So with the price-based expiration, if the price is reached, then the position will be cancelled. The position will only be cancelled if none of the buy orders have been filled. So as soon as one of the buy orders has been filled, then the position expiration will be removed and your take profit is just available. So this is similar to the time-based expiration where it will cancel the position based on time. But now we actually wait for a price. And you can use this in combination with the start position act. So for example, we only want to reserve the funds if the price moves down. And we want to cancel the position once the price moves up. So whatever happens first, the position will either be cancelled or placed. So this is a great way to set up your positions before you go to bed and then wake up in the morning to see which ones have been executed. We've also been getting a lot of feedback about having a specific view for just smart trading. If you do your charting outside of TradingView and you just want to have the smart trading terminal, then now we've made that a little bit easier in all trading. So as you can see, you still have the chart and your position info widget with the order book right here. But if you scroll down, now you can see that we have created a wide version of the trade form and you have actually a lot more space to set up your trades. So maybe you have your TradingView chart open on another window and then you have your trading terminal like this. So you can set up your entry order, your take profit, and your stop loss. We also added the time-based expirations and the price-based expirations right here, so that you have easier access to them. Now, how do you get this layout? Just go over to the layout preset up here and make sure that you select the smart trade layout. If you don't see the smart trade layout, you might be on the fixed layout, and you can easily switch that by clicking on switch to flexible. So now you have a very wide trade form. And we also made sure that the position list is nice and long so that you can see all your open and closed positions. And all you have to do is just scroll down. We've also added a lot more bug fixes, so please make sure that you read the release notes to see what else has been fixed. And then we'll see you again on the next release.